WTFNN. Headline News Update. Everyone, Basil Chapman here. Yeah, Dow's down uh, 41 points at 27,608. Uh, this is the TFNN Noon Update. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this update, and the author of the opening call daily newsletter. The S&P at this particular point is down too. What's really interesting is, if you look at the Dow, you see finally, and this is just intraday, we can't say that this is the close, it is intraday, just after three hours, two and a half hours of trading, the MACD is down sharply. The stochastic on the left side, the daily chart, is down at 34 percent. And finally, you're getting the green nine period exponential moving average crossing underneath the 14 period black line right there. That's the 14 exponential moving average. Uh, if it closes like that for the day, it gives me a confirmation that the short position we put on just a few days ago might actually work instead of this residual strength that we keep seeing because that moving average refused to close down. We'll see what happens after this. As I said, the S&P, the SPX right now is down seventy. That's no big deal, but it was up quite a lot uh, earlier this morning. The futures were up sharply, about 12 points. Dow was up about 132. So the S&P right now at 31.1168 sitting on the 14 period moving average that moving average the nine exponential hasn't closed underneath it's not even close that you would have to see a pullback to about 30.3096 to see that turn down so it's a process that's what i said the other day and talking about a process the qqq ndx down just six cents at 202.37 also made that high on the 27th they all made highs on the 27th in the daily chart those weekly charts are still strong so any pullback here i think is uh, within the context of a much larger up move because there's still only a leg C in the monthly chart. The IWM uh, is trading right now up 30 cents. Once again, showing a little bit more residual strength than the others at 161.08. It is nicely above even the nine period moving average. And that weekly chart is actually starting to improve very nicely. That's that's very important. And gold, uh, gold is now up four at 1484. It's within a range. Remember, we said it's stuck in this range. And the dollar, funnily enough, should be down quite sharply. And it is down 25 at 97.40. Crude oil is um, up a little bit. And the TLT, we'll talk about, spoke about it yesterday. We'll talk about it again today, filling in the gap from um, a few days ago. Basil Chapman, host of Tiger Traditions Hour, coming straight up. Hold tight. Hope to see you soon. Otherwise, tomorrow.